Yeah, good, right. Okay. Right. Yeah, when you're ready. Really heavy steering on this. Heavy. Very heavy. You'll notice this as we turn out the car park. I've got my favourite now. <laughs> it's easy, isn't it? It is. It is. The, um, the bigger engine models had power steering, but this didn't, and it's... Right. Okay, we'll get out before him. Where's the left? This is heavier than the P4. Yeah, yes, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Not as heavy as the Walsley, though. No. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> is the Walsley still the bell siren on it? No. 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 <laughs> Unfortunately no. not. <laughs> There used to be a rally team up where we live called Wish Arts Racing. Okay, and they used I've to, heard of that. They used to race these, and before that, they, they raced the, this is rallying, the two stroke Sarps. Okay, yeah. yeah. So that's going back to the late 60s. Yes, I've, I've seen or heard of Wish Art Racing. Well, it's one of the gears, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so go on, why the Capri you just wanted to drive on? Yeah. This is this is more of a normal drive. Yeah, it is. So you could go slow and try to get around the corners. <laughs> it's nice for you out the windscreen as well, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so will this have power steering? No, no. The, the bigger bigger engine ones did. Um, this is a sixteen hundred, so no it's, it's fine once you're rolling, isn't it? Yeah. It's just the initial um, Oh, this, is, uh, this is the easiest one to drive. Yes. I would say. Yeah, yeah. I think it is out of the ones you picked. Yeah. Very light on the throttle. Yeah. Discretion being the better part of valour, yeah. um, probably best not to have a. It would be more economical <laughs> to drive this than yes. that yeah. thirsty thing. <laughs> the thing is, you're not running the risk of going out the main roads and some idiot. No. Crashing, I, crashing into you. No, I think um half I think the bothers, insurance for that. See other be, people on the road. Yeah, exactly. The insurance would be horrific if you start to try to see this on the public highway. We've been down since last Saturday. Right, well let's get a whole week down here. We've been down about the third time we've been down here. Right. I don't think this is open then. No, it's only been open just over two years. Because we weren't down, we were down just before Covid. Right, yeah. January to um, to the end of May in 2021. Yeah. 
but I think it actually worked out okay because that, that first summer was one where no one was going abroad, That's everyone right. was staying here yeah. and wanted to get out to places. So it was um, actually quite a quite a good time for it to be around. <laughs> Hard work, isn't it? It's, 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 it's actually harder than that people. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is surprising you have this here in this. I mean, I suppose it's it's a relatively small steering wheel, a small diameter yeah. steering wheel. Because that makes a huge difference to the diameter of the steering wheels, the uh -huh. weight of the steering wheel, doesn't it? Back in the day, I used to put a smaller suede steering wheel on yeah. a load of my cars to make them feel a bit more sporty. I always have <laughs> the cover on mine. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. the choice of cars even more? Oh yeah, um, it's the whole ethos of the, the museum is that cars are meant to be driven. Not, so I, I like think, that. Yeah, so I think the idea is just to keep, keep adding, keep adding we to are, cars. We've got Shildon Railway Museum. Oh yes. Just yeah. around the corner from us. Right. You, you can look in the windows but you can't go in and sit in the oh, seats. Oh right. Which is understandable because yes. people yeah. Destroy them. Yeah. But it's really nice to get in some of oh, that's a driven one. <laughs> so I think more museums and you're looking at well, yeah. I'd never drive one of them. Yeah. I know it's, uh, nearly all the cars in the museum as well are, are ready to go. So I mean just need recommissioning. But um, yeah, they're all sort of roadworthy and, and ready to go because that's the whole thing and, and we get some of them out for various special days we've had or, or yeah. whatever. Um, last year we had a Back to the Future day, got the DeLorean out. I would um, like to do the a motorbike experience, you know, the old yeah. classic bikes. I, mean, I, yes. I had a, Are you a bike Triumph guy? Tiger Cup at one time. Other older bikes. Yeah. The thing is, what do you do then? Do you put the instruction on the side car? Well, or? yes, that is the problem, oh, isn't it? Thing, isn't Just it? keep, keep wise. Yeah. Probably a good thing for these cars and all to keep them running. Yeah. Sometimes a car, if it's stood too long, they can develop more oh, problems standing. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> the, the working parts are getting worse. Yes. <laughs> thing is, either they've got a pretty good team of uh, people to look after them. We've got one full time or nearly full time mechanic and an apprentice, yeah. and they've, they've got a constant job list. <laughs> it's like a painting the fourth bridge job. Dad had minis, he had one of them, it was like the Mini Mayfair. Oh yes, it was, it was like yeah. He had an 850, Dad had about three minis, and I had a 1275 GT, which was pretty nippy. Yes, they're great little cars, aren't they? Yeah. Great fun. I'm not sure I'd want to do hundreds of miles in one nowadays, so. I used to enjoy watching the Rallycross. Yeah. When they had the minis, the yes. Anglias, the Hillman Imps, yeah. and the VWs.
Yeah, that's it. Oh, fifth there. <laughs> yes. I used to quite like them and all the yeah. bananas or the consoles. Yes. That's a Sweeney colours as well, isn't it? Yeah. So you don't go around the town white. I don't think that person it. was so. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice thing to drive back Granada. It's um, automatic and it's um, oh. nice and comfortable. Oh, is it not? I'm at a gearbox. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I am looking forward to that one now. Which one's up there? Granada. Oh, you're oh. driving that? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, it's a good old thing, that one. The, the thing is, inside, it's like every surface is like each sheet of brown. Yeah. It's just a symphony of brown. Yeah. It's brilliant. What's your other car then, Nathan? Hmm? Are you doing three? Three uh, cars? Yeah, it's the Wolsey, the Granada, and the Cortina. Ah, right, okay. One thing I wish you had now, I wish you had a Rover P6. Yeah. keep coming and on about getting one. Do you? Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. The only downside is, can I afford one? Yes. <laughs> Will it fit in the garage? Uh, very tightly. Yes. That's the problem with cars, isn't it? You need lots of, lots of space. Just don't get as wrong, I like you, Morris. Well, I'd like a classic car that can like more keep up with modern traffic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the problem, isn't it? I, I really want to get something pre-war, and I was looking at an Austin Seven, but like you, I need something a little bit mm. more competent than that in, for modern traffic. It's just not quite quick enough. I don't mind trundling along, but when you look in your mirror and you see the uh, the queue behind you, yeah, you yeah, just it's, think, oh, it's just dear. embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> One more lap? Yeah, let's squeeze one more lap in. Oh, we'll get some traffic on the road, don't we? I know. Yeah. It's quite a good traffic jam though, isn't it? Wolsey 1500. Oh, right, yeah. Up and down the old disused railway lines. <laughs> if they took the rail, there was no tracks. Right. But you could go for miles on these walls. Yeah. Oh, wow. So we kind of learned a bit there. Good place to learn. Seems funny seeing them kind of vehicles on the road coming towards Yeah, it. exactly. That, that's part of this, I think. It's, yeah. um, it's nostalgic. It, yeah, it's yeah. seeing the other cars around yeah. as well being driven around.